demon. Every demon. Every demon. Every case. Every case. Every case. Every trap. Every trap. Every trap. Every evil words. Every evil words. Every evil words. Every evil plan. Every evil plan. Every evil plan. Any attack. Any attack. Any attack. Anything against us. Anything against us. Anything against us. Our lives. Our lives. Our lives, our families, our families, our families, our careers, our careers, our careers, our anything, our any, our anything. Let them be bound. Let them be bound. Let them be bound. I bind them now. I bind them now. I bind them now. I destroy them now. I destroy them now. I destroy them now. But the blood of Jesus, 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 blood of Jesus. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Holy fire, 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 fire. I command them to the abbeys. I command them to the abbeys. I command them to the abbeys. Say good morning, Holy Ghost. Good morning, Holy Ghost. Good morning, Holy Ghost. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. I adore you. I adore you. I adore you. I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you so much. I surrender to you. I surrender to you. I surrender to you. Take over me. Take over me. Take over me. Lead me. Lead me. Lead me. Guide me. Guide me. Guide me. Protect me. Protect me. Protect me. Bring my blessings today. Bring my blessings. Bring my blessings today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that where two or three comes together in my name, Jesus said that there I am in their midst. And also this morning. Jesus Christ is here, the Holy Ghost is here, God Almighty is here, angels are here. We are in the presence of God and we will have a privilege to listen to the Word of God together this morning. Let us listen to the Word of God together this morning. The reason why is so that we said that he was having a body, the Bible said that, um, I remember two days ago, I think I quoted it that there was one of the disciples by the name of Thomas. The Bible said that because prior this day that he was appearing in the in the with his to his disciple again when the door was closed when the door was locked he have appeared he was Mary Mary Magdalene have seen Jesus at the garden tomb and that other disciples when he was walking and he came and joined them he have, they have seen about they've seen him there were a couple of people who have seen him already and they were talking that we have seen Jesus Jesus is alive like what he talked about but Thomas have not seen Jesus by this time and the Bible said that when Thomas said that Jesus Christ has come back to life he said ah, impossible I will only believe if I see him myself and actually even if I see him I won't really believe it. I will believe if I put my finger where they were, the nail entered, and this where the spear entered. If I touch that place, I will believe that is the one. Thomas did not believe that Jesus Christ came back to life. One of the things is because he saw and he had heard what happened to Jesus. Remember, the death of Jesus was not faint. Because that's what some of the people, they, they claim that that death was faked. He did not die. It was not faked. Why? From the time when he was uh, before Caiaphas, when they were beating him, everybody could see him being beaten. 
That day they were clapping him and everything. They could see what was happening to this Jesus. Not only that, when they took him before Pilate, when he went before Pilate, the Bible said that one of the punishments, it was when Pilate said that, okay, um, he was trying to save Jesus, said that he must be punished, he must be stricken. And when they were striking Jesus, they were really struck him in such a way that his body was tattered. The body was tattered. There was nothing on that body. To fulfill the, what the Bible talks about, that by his stripes you were healed. Then that day they really beat Jesus Christ out. He was really beaten. So bad. The Bible, when, when, when even Mary could not look on her own son when she could see what Jesus Christ was going through, it was too much. It was too much. When Mary was watching it, and the Bible said that after that, Pilate gave them the choice. Do you want Barnabas to come out? They said, no. Jesus, Barnabas can come out, but this Jesus don't want him to come out. These were the Jews and the high priest. And of course, he said, okay, I washed, he washed his hands. This was Pilate. After when he washed his hands, the Bible said that, he said, that, okay, what do you want me to do with this Jesus? And they said, that, they said that he must be crucified, in which that what he wanted and that what ought to happen for him to die for our sins. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said that everybody saw him carrying that heavy cross going to Golgotha. It was not something that happened in a secret. Everybody watched it. Everybody saw him when he was stumbling, when he could not walk anymore. When he had bled so much, he could not walk. He was beaten. He was tired. Everybody saw this until the Bible said that the time when they arrived in Golgotha, and they arrived at Golgotha. That's when they saw him being nailed. They saw those nails through going through their hands. Then nail going through the other hands. Then nail going through the other le the legs. They saw by that time he was having a crown of thorns that the soldiers made for him moment earlier when he was still in prison in Pilate's house. They saw him there on the cross. Everybody was there. Mary was there. John was there. And the Bible said that as John was looking at G John, Mary looking at Jesus on the cross. Remembering this is my son whom I've given birth. Now you could see this son is about to die. Mary was crying for her son. As Mary was crying for her son, the Bible said that Jesus on the cross said that, hey, woman, don't cry for me. Cry, don't cry. Cry for yourself and for your children. It was a reality. It was not acted. It was not faked. It was a reality. The master was on the cross. The master was about to die. And the Bible said that when he was on the cross, he was thirsty and said that, oh, when he was thirsty, they tried to give him a, a, a vinegar and all that. And after that, he said that, Eloi, Eloi, Lama. Actually, that was after when he cried out, Eloi, Eloi, Lama Sabbath, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some did not hear what he was talking about when he was saying, my God, why have you? They thought he was calling for Elia. Can't you know he's not calling for Elia? This time he's praying, why Jehovah? Because what he was going through, it was not easy. It was the reality. And the Bible said that moment after that, he gave up the ghost and that it is finished. And the body and the spirit of Jesus separate and he died. It was a real death. Actually, before that, when he really he died like that, because he was not being crucified alone. He was crucified with two other criminals. Another one on the left, another one on the right. The Bible said that the criminal, the, these criminals, when the time has arrived for them also to, to be killed, the Bible says the soldier, he went to this other criminal, he took the spear and put it by the side. And they, that criminal died. That soldier, when he came to Jesus, he found that Jesus Christ is already gone. He is gone. He was out of the body already. 
The soldier did not have a chance to kill him because he gave up his ghost. Hey, there is a way to live out, to come out of the body. He was not killed. He, when he said that, I said it is finished. He he willed his spirit out of the body, and the spirit came out of the body, and the body was just there. And when the body was there, because on other ones actually they were the soldier was not actually putting the spear by the side. What the soldiers were, the soldier was hitting the knees because they had to balance themselves by their knees when they were on the cross. They hit them when they, immediately when they hit the knees, the weight was on left on the on the on the up there, and they were dying like that. They were breaking their bones. But when they arrived at Jesus for the scriptures to be fulfilled, they found that Jesus Christ was already gone. When the Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ was already gone, then that soldier wanted to pass. Another soldier said, "No, make sure that he's dead." But how he was about to make sure that Jesus is dead, he was not going to break his bones or break the knees. He was going to take the spear and he put it by the side. Not just to put it; he, he, he actually put it by the side. And the water and the blood came out. The water and the blood came out of Jesus Christ. And he confirmed that he's dead. That's why this kind of water and this kind of blood is coming out. And that's when he went to the other criminal and killed him also. But Jesus was not killed. But they confirmed that he was dead. To show that his death was, was not faked. His death was a reality. He was really dead. And the Bible says that. Even those priests. High priests. Who wanted him dead anyway. Because of lack of revelation. When they were there. Those priests. When they were there, they realized he's dead. They said, ah, now it is finished also. They left. They left. When they left there, that's when Joseph of Arimathea, one of the men who was rich, went to Herod and asked for the body of Jesus. And he, because he was really dead, that's when he was buried. He was not buried because he was not dead. No, he was buried because he was totally and he was real dead. And he was buried. And the Bible says that because they have heard him teaching Jesus Christ. That, and he said that he will die and on the third day he will come back to life. Then they say that, okay, they deployed even soldiers. As they deployed soldiers, that they must guard this this tomb, and they must actually close the tomb with not a small stone, with a bigger stone, so that nobody can steal his body and claim that he came back to life. Then they put a big stone there. Not only that, and there were guards who were soldiers guarding it so that nobody can steal the body of Jesus because they have heard that he have said that he will come back to life. Then they wanted to make sure that he doesn't come back to life. They are standing there guarding the tomb. But the Bible says that something happened on Monday, on Sunday. The angel came from heaven with an earthquake and, and those soldiers were so scared and terrified. And the tomb, those, 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 he rolled, that angel rolled out the stone, the big stone, and sat on that stone, which was making sure that Jesus Christ does not come back to life. Then the resurrection of Jesus was real, and that's how he came back to life. He died, the death was, death was reality. He came back to life, it was a reality. Then that's why also there will be a resurrection of the dead. Because why? Our master came back to life. Our master whom we are believing on. 
We are not believing on men. We are believing on our Master Jesus Christ. Our Lord and Savior. Our Redeemer. That is the one whom we are believing upon. Who died and came back to life. The death was real. Resurrection was real. He really died. He really came back to life. That if Jesus whom we believe has come back to life. Also you. When we saw. When we saw this other body. This body, there will be a new body for us to get this kind of a new body that he has. The one that I'm telling you that with it, he could just enter places like that Mm. without a struggle. And one day, once you have taken out of this body, you will get a new body. The body that does not die anymore. The body that the new body does not get sick. The new body does not get does not get possessed by a demon. The new body is a supernatural body. It's not an ordinary body. Then to those who are being prepared to live for eternity, God give them a supernatural body to prepare them for a supernatural life and for eternity. Because this body, even though some people are born again, they're still getting sick. They're still getting sick. They're still getting demon possessed and all this and all that. But that supernatural body, no demon can touch you that time. You got it. On that supernatural body, you will never be sick anymore. On that supernatural body, if you, you want to go anywhere, you don't even need an airplane. You don't even need a car. You, you just like a... When you appear, you appear anywhere you want to appear with that spiritual body. It's a supernatural body. The body, which is, is a supernatural costume. For you to understand it very well, it's a costume. That once you have it, hey, it's a supernatural. You will wonder, what kind of a person am I? What kind of a person are you on that time when you got a new body? We are talking about the resurrection body. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh, Pradas Kapahaya, I can't wait for me to get a new costume. Just that we must first finish our assignment before we go. We're not going to go before our time. Verse number 45, the Bible said that, So, it is written, the first man, Adam, The first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam is a life-giving spirit. You know, we're talking about two Adams here now. Um, The first Adam is Adam, which is we find him in the book of Genesis. Because, let me tell you this, when God wanted to, to create a human being and to fill the whole world with a human being, he did not create 100 human beings. He did not create a thousands of human beings. He created one man who was also a seed. That God knew that from Adam there will be a replica and multiplication and the whole world will be filled, which that's how it happened. In the same way, in the second Adam, the second Adam which the Bible is talking about is talking about Jesus Christ. When God wanted a new, a new kind of creation, with the Bible say that in the book of Second Corinthians chapter five, verse number seventeen, when the Bible says that if any man be in Christ is a new creation, behold, the old has passed away, behold, the new has come. Because a new when you receive Christ, you are a new creation. Because what? Jesus is a life giving spirit. He came to be able to give life to his own kind. Mm. Oh, Pradagaska Kieske. He came to be able to do what? To give life to his own what? To his own kind. That means when you talk about this supernatural body that he had, also us will inherit. We're going to get it. That's what the Bible, the Bible could say that in the book of uh, John chapter 1, verse number 12. When the Bible says that yet to all those who believed in him, those who received him, those who believe in his name, he gave them the right to become the children of the living God. That means he was the only one at first who was the children of the living God, born 
of God. But when we receive him, he gives us his nature to become the children of the living God. Children not born of, of men or a husband's will, but born of what? Born of God. Then when we accept Jesus, he gave us that supernatural life like he is. That we also become the children of the living God. It doesn't only end there. Also after death, his resurrection was the first. Hmm. He was the first, there will be another one of resurrection of everybody. Everybody will receive this kind of a new body. Those who are born again to live eternity, to go to heaven. Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because he said what? He is a life giving spirit. Wow. Verse number 46. The Bible says that the spiritual did not come first, but the natural, and after that, the spiritual. That means, first of all, yes, the natural come first, then the spiritual comes second. How does the natural come first? Okay, now you are a spiritual, you are a natural person. You are living in this natural body. Then you are natural. Then the spiritual will come after will come after when you receive that new body. Anyway, because of time tonight, wherever you are, I want you to begin to pray. I want you to begin to pray, begin to pray. Can you say my day is blessed? My day is blessed. My family is blessed. My family is blessed. My is blessed. Say my career is blessed. My career is blessed. Career is blessed. Our countries are blessed. Our countries are blessed. Our countries are blessed. Everything is turning around for my good. Everything is turning around. Everything is turning around for my good. Say I will not die before my time. I will not die before my time. I will, die before my time. I will never be sick in my life. I will never be sick in my life. I will never be poor in my life. I will never be poor in my life. I will never be poor in my life. I will never be broke in my life. I will never be broke in my life. I will never be broke in my life. Never be broke in my life. Say devil. 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 Take off your hands. Take off your hands. Take off your hands. From my life. From my life. From my life. From my, life. From my career. From my career. From my career. From, From my, my everything. From my everything. From my everything. From my everything. Say I lose angels now. I lose angels now. I lose angels now. Angels, 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 yeah. bring my harvest, bring my harvest, bring my harvest, my miracles, my miracles, my miracles, my, my testimonies, my testimonies, my testimonies, my testimonies, angels, 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 Ashami, Ashami. Everywhere I go, everywhere I go, everywhere I go, in everything that I do, in everything that I do, in everything that I do, represent me, represent me, represent me, present me, present me, present me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The resurrection of Jesus Christ is real. He really came back to life. Jesus Amen. Christ is alive. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You know, as, as it is Sunday today, we are remembering that, yes, he did not just die. Yes, we're talking about it on Friday that Jesus Christ died for us on the cross of Calvary, but it did not end up on the cross. It did not end on the tomb. On the third day, the Bible said that he came back to life. He resurrected. Amen. When Mary Magdalene arrived in the, in the tomb, the Bible said that the tomb was empty. 
the tomb was empty he was not there but anyway because um this is just our first services we have got other services we're still going to talk about his resurrection in totality that jesus christ came back to life he overcame death for us amen Anyway, this morning there may be someone who want to renew their vows, who want to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior. Say, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my Savior. You are my Savior. Wash me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. Bless me today. Bless me today. Bless me today. Protect me from today. Protect me from today. Protect me from today. From today. From today. From today. From today. From today. I am born again. I am born again. I am born again. I am, born again. I am saved. I am saved. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. And today it's a Sunday. As a Sunday, we remind each other about giving. And the Bible says that in the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse number 38 Give shall be given to you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over into your bosom. With the measure you use, it shall be measured unto you. Yes, we have to connect our substances with the power of the Holy Ghost, with the anointing, and the anointing break the yoke, break the curse. Anointing blesses and the anointing multiplies our substances. Then I'm encouraging us to continue to give as we give. We shall see the power of God in our substances because the anointing blesses and anointing multiplies. Anyway, let us go straight. Let us share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The love of God. The love of God. The, of God. the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The fellowship of the Holy fellowship Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Be with us all. Be with us all. Be with us all. Surely goodness and love. Surely goodness and love. Surely goodness and love. Shall follow me. Shall follow me. Shall follow me. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I will dwell in the house. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And uh, during the day, just be alert on this platform. We, we will also play uh, the movie of Jesus Christ when he was crucified. And I want to say to us this morning, have a blessed and a successful day in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.